I'm going to construct a helix antenna today. A helix antenna is actually mounted over a ground plane. So let's draw a circular ground plane at first. Turn on the local coordinate system. And after that, you have to set the units of the dimensions. So go to the solve menu and select units. Change the dimensions to millimeter. Now select the cylinder and press escape key. You specify the radius as 30 millimeter and the thickness as 1 millimeter. Select copper from material library. Search for copper. Here is the copper. Press OK to complete the cylinder. Here is our ground plane. Let's draw the helix now. And for that we are going to use a macro. So go to macros menu and select construct. Then coils and then linear spiral coil. Change the coil radius to 3 mm. and coil height to 40 mm. Press OK. Here is our helix, but uh, this is a 2D curve and we need to convert it into 3D form. And for that, we have to draw a circle that lies in a perpendicular plane on this helix. So we have to select the beginning point of the helix and then we have to go to WCS menu and select align WCS with selected point. Now the local coordinate system has been aligned to that point but since the circle is a 2D object and it must be drawn on every plane, therefore we have to rotate the local coordinate system to make the EV plane perpendicular on the helix. So go to WCS menu and select rotate plus 90 degree around V axis. Now the EV plane is perpendicular on the helix. Now let's draw the circle. Select the circle from the curve menu and press escape key. Now one important thing to mention here is that the radius of the circle has to be equal to the radius of the helical conductor you are using practically. Let me assume that uh, the diameter of the conductor is 1 millimeter, so the radius will be 0.5. Press OK. Now the cycle has been created. We have to perform another function called sweep curve. Go to curve menu and select sweep curve. I'm going to sweep the circle along the helical path. So double click on the circle and then double click on the helix as the path curve. Give the helix a name like helix. Press OK button to finish. Here is our helix antenna, but it's not complete because we did not define the ports for feeding the antenna. And due to the time constraints, I won't be able to demonstrate that part. Actually, on this video, I only focused on the construction of the helix. Thank you for watching this video.